in the tank is an innovation in healthy vending. Hi Sharks, I'm Peter Shapiro. And I'm Stuart Shapiro, and we're based in Havertown, Pennsylvania. And if you can't tell already, we're brothers. Clearly, good genes run in our family. Very attractive. Well, thank you, man. <laughs> We're here today seeking $250,000 for a 6% equity stake in our company, Bloody Blends. Sharks, traditionally, if you only have 60 seconds between meetings or before your shift starts, limited time can restrict your options to standard vending machines. Chips and a soda, candy and an energy drink, that won't keep the Blunny Bros on in for long. No, it won't. The future of food is unattended retail. Introducing Blenny Blends, a fun and interactive smoothie kiosk that makes real fruit smoothies with no artificial flavors, no preservatives, and no added sugar. And what about lactose and gluten? No way, Stu. Choose one of our 16 ounce blends, tap your card, that's it. It's like picking fruit from a tree and putting it in a blender yourself. It also makes delicious clean label iced coffee. It's like having an automated smoothie shop in just 12 square feet. So sharks, who's ready to come on a smooth ride with us? Because all's well that blends well. <laughs> <laughs> so sharks, in front of you we have some samples. First is our coffee bean blenny. So that is made from oat milk, real coffee. This is really amazing. Oh, yeah, that's it's very really sweet. Tasty. What does it have as a sweetener? It's just regular sugar in that one. I love it. It's a real cool Guys, fruit. There's no added sugar in the mango, tropical so blenny. No, in the fruits, we have no added sugar whatsoever. So it's whatsoever. just the fructose. That just, is just so the, it's just the very natural. Natural. Wow. Thank you. Do you Thank guys you. process the fruit yourself or you buy the pouches? So they're proprietary blends. They're aseptically packaged in bags so they're actually shelf stable. We have manufacturers, we have three facilities in the United States that package it for us. So we didn't want something that was refrigerated, we didn't want something that was frozen. How long have you been doing this? So and we, where are you guys from and, and sure. how did you put oh, this together? I'll tell you about this. So we both have business backgrounds. We grew up near Philadelphia. We really wanted to go out and be entrepreneurs. So we got into real estate and one day I just kind of was looking on and I was like, oh my God, there's this whole new world of unattended retail that hasn't been tapped yet. And that's when Peter called me late that night. He's like, I found it. So we were introduced to this product. We ended up flying up to Canada, seeing a prototype. Within a few weeks, we had negotiated for the exclusive rights uh, to the US. So you guys are a licensee with exclusive rights only to the United States? Correct. For, sure. the, for the life of the patent. And how many years are left on the patent? Um, 15. 15 left. So you already have them in place. What's your busiest one? What are your revenues? How much does each of them produce? So we have 41 of these out in the market. We have 20 more in our warehouse that just got delivered. And so what's your most prolific of your 41? How many does it make a day? So it does about 8,000 a month. Wow. Uh, yes, and we, we sell 8, about- 8,000 units, 8,000 dollars? 8,000 dollars. Dollars. Do you have a service entity going, average going average in and years? refilling it all the time? We can either have our team, they'll actually run it day to day, and we own the machine. Then we have a, a program where we sell that machine to the location, then they buy the fruit from us, and in perpetuity, like you always like, Mr. Wonderful, we're so making money. So they have to buy the fruit because it's packaged in a proprietary way. We own the way. entire supply chain. What does one smoothie cost? $5.25. On average. On average. Uh, the cost of goods sold is blended $1.40. Okay, so five bucks basically cost you guys a buck forty, but then you've got either commission that you're paying to the host. Tell sure, us about the economics of the maintenance costs and personnel. Right. Yeah. So typically, above, right? a large food service company will come to us. We give them fifteen percent for them to take care of it. Elaborate on that. Like, you mean an Aramark or a Cisco? <laughs> exactly. We, have, so we work with we Aramark. We have a master Sedexo. contract. You already do. We already do. In 2021, so, what were your revenues and your profits? So we started in 2020. We did ten thousand dollars. 2021. We did 275,000, and then year to date, it was 465,000. We're on track to be you know, at least one and a half million. Nice growth. We're here, we've put all of the money into it. We've been purchasing all of the machines ourselves. How much does each machine, machine cost? So, yeah, so, so each machine costs uh, 19,500. Wow. And then we sell it for 30. So when we actually sell it, we're looking at a, a, a profit of 35%. So is my money getting tied up in the CapEx of the machines? Because you're asking me for 250000 for 6%. Correct. Correct. To, buy, to buy more fruit machines and, and more machines. So you actually manufacture them. I mean, the person that owns the patent is overseas, and they're handling manufacturing right now. We also added it into our contract that at any point we can buy 
the, all the IP and the patent and then bring manufacturing somewhere else. Okay, and what is that price? Four million dollars. Whoa. Do you guys have any performance requirements where you've got to buy X number of units or you lose it? Correct, yes. What are those? So for this year, we have to 80 machines, which we've already ordered and done. Uh, then do 100 more for the following year. So 80 one year, 100 the next year. 120 the following 120 year. 120 the following year. Is there a point where there's a cap on it and you don't have to hit that anymore? Currently, we don't have a cap in there because our goal would be to get that IP. We want to keep the Blenny brand. That's what we're really growing. We want to become a brand that everyone knows. All right, guys, look. What I don't like about this deal for me is the CapEx on the machines, the 19,000. If there was a way that I could invest in the bags, that's interesting. But the curse <laughs> of this is the CapEx on the machines, and for that reason, I'm out. You know, we, we have everything in, in this. Um, Stuart has sold his house, and he lives in my house. Stuart and I personally have put 1.2 million wow. into this project. Wow, all in, yeah. you guys. Yeah. We, we, yeah. We've sold all that real estate Are we did. Are you taking salaries? No, we're not taking salaries. All right, guys. My general thoughts is I think this is brilliant. The stuff tastes amazing. Thank you. Right. But the fact that you are actually using another person's product where things happen, you may not hit those numbers. You're not in control of that. This is heavy cash intensive as well. I don't know if I'm that comfortable with you having a license from somebody else. So with that, I'm out. Thank you, Damon. Thank you, guys, I get pitched self-service, food this or that every single day. There's huge amount of risk in terms of technological obsolescence. If something better comes along, you're still stuck. That's really scary for me as an investor, so for those reasons, I'm out. Thank, Thank you, Mark. So listen, guys, these were phenomenal. Thank like, you. Thank you. honestly, phenomenal. I was talking with uh, my fellow shark, Daniel, who, mm -hmm. you know, he happens to know quite a bit about the entire food yes, space. Yes, he does. For me, it's gonna be a very sharky offer because I'm very concerned about this. It's just gonna require from my team a ton of investment to help you, so I would only do this for 35% of the company. Oh, oh wow. wow. No, 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 because it's not the money. Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze. put in, it's not the money. I'm gonna put in millions of dollars oh. of my team's time and my time. Well, All I, of our well, years well, of expertise well, and connections is gonna cost something, right? Of, and of I course. would like to do it with Daniel. Well, I think I, the it's gonna cost, it will cost to have partners like this. So 250,000 for 35% to get two sharks. What do you guys say? Three sharks are out. Stuart and Peter have an offer on the table from Lori and Daniel for their smoothie vending machine, Blenny Blends. But they want 35% of the company for $250,000, a much bigger chunk than the 6% they came in offering. You are both behemoths, we realize that. Stuart and I can put in the grip, I, I promise you, would you do the deal for 15%? No way. No. <laughs> I wouldn't do it for 34%. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be, it's a firm deal, it's 35%. It's not that I'm gonna be a tough person, it's just that I, I know this is gonna be so much work. You gotta make a decision. I think 35 is a lot to ask for so what's having your, already put in. Why don't you two in, talk amongst yourselves real in quick in and think about how money, you'd feel if you walked capital. away without a deal. We've taken all of the we risks. Want, we want we have, talk we've to done him. this. I think 35 is a lot to ask. Can you come down at all from 35? I mean, I think that's a I lot. I can't for, because it's just gonna be a tremendous would, amount Would you do it less? No, I agree because I think the two of us together is the perfect combination for you. Are there any chance you're doing a deal for 35% yes or no? Would you do 35% with a $500,000 line of credit? Million dollar line of credit? <laughs> no! <laughs> Which one are you? <laughs> What's you happening here? Thing. So we do 35% for 250000 and subject to us confirming that everything you said is as it is, we'll give you a $500,000 line of credit. Is I'm good okay? with that. Two of you are our dreams. We love you. We love everything you. We love you everything. Do, Daniel. You have a deal. Yeah. Yeah. Do not give up on me, okay? Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you, guys. Well done. which was a lot more than we intended to, but we understand, uh, you know, like the famous line that Mark always says, you had to have a little bit of a watermelon than just 100% of a grape. <laughs>